Hi folks, Huckleberry at uh, Ghost Town Custom Knives and today we're going to talk about how to properly clean Buck 110. Uh, this is a brand new knife that's been sitting in my shop for a couple days so it might have a little dust on it but we, today we are focusing on that stuff inside the frame here. Uh, most 110s have a little bit of stuff in there just natural uh, build up from being made it's a buffing compound and little bits of metal and wood and dust and so on from the factory so totally normal um, it is a little nasty you can hear the you can hear the, the gunk in there and uh, I use this uh, particular 110 because it's got quite a bit and I figured it'd be a good example so the first thing we're going to do is get our water running nice and hot and uh, we're just going to use dish soap. Uh, I prefer Dawn, which is what we keep in the house. And I get the knife a little bit wet, and then right in the frame, or right in the pivot, rather. A little bit of water. And the most important safety aspect to this is keeping these two fingers clean and this portion of the blade clean. This doesn't need to be clean, so it just needs to be kept from getting slippery, so you don't lose traction when you're actuating the knife. Keep your fingers out of the path of the blade as much as possible. And just work with the knife open and close a few times, snapping the action a few times. Add some more soap. I, uh, if the knife's really dirty, I will start at the pommel end here, kind of soak the soap through. Just working it through. And the, uh, the reason we use really hot water is because the buffing compound is like wax and grease based, so it melts really well under higher heats. So, uh, one, if you have a really, really nasty one, one of the tricks I like to do is get a little bit right in the pivot and then complete the whole actuation with water running into the pivot. The snapping really, really pops the stuff out of there. Helps get everything clean and, and nice sounding. Get rid of some of that grit. And just repeat as necessary. Uh, the most important part for me is drying. I need to get in and dry the knife as soon as possible, particularly around the wood. I like to use uh, high pressure air. Um, but even if you don't have that, just getting a uh, paper towel or Q-tips or whatever and kind of soaking out the water that's inside, as well as wiping away a little bit of the extra crap that's in there, is uh, completely sufficient. Uh, sitting it out in the sun helps, putting it uh, in front of a fan. You can cock it open, leave it like that. And you can see we've still even got a little bit of crap left in here. But the knife sounds a lot better. A little bit of junk in there still, but you would just repeat. And uh, I do that with every single knife probably two dozen times before we ship them, maybe three. Depending on how many times uh, the knife gets washed for each specific process. Thanks for watching, folks, and I uh, hope this helps somebody out.